Hi, this is Blair Pleasant. I'm in beautiful La Jolla at the UC Strategies UC Summit, and I'm with Jim Tennant. He's regional director of Shortel, and Shortel is one of uh, the primary sponsors at the UC Summit, and Mark Roberts had delivered a keynote the other night. And Jim, why don't you tell us a little bit about um, the message that Shortel is trying to get out to your reseller and channel partners? Excellent. Be happy to, Blair. Thanks. Um, Mark arrived Sunday. Uh, Mark had a message relative to cloud where you know, more thought leaders are moving their business. Um, he didn't speak specifically to say this is where voice is going, uh, this is where short is going, it was more of where the industry is going from a unified communication perspective. Um, the client wants more than just dial tone today. Uh, the client wants a solution, they want a solution today, they need it road mapped out for the future. Uh, they're looking for vendors, solutions, consultants to work with that help them guide them to that solution. Um, Mark spoke to where Shortel is going from a hybrid perspective, the ability to have both voice converge with a premise-based solution. Um, very unique. Uh, a lot of vendors in the space doing both today. Um, so talking about the cloud, right, and the benefits of the cloud. It was a good presentation. Yeah. Okay. So what's the key takeaway that you would want people to go away with? Listen to the customer. Um, think of use a phrase, uh, the cloud nine. I mean, if it's anything that you could do, if it's anything outside of what you're used to doing, listen to the client. Ask them if they could have any solution they wanted, um, what would they look for? Um, talk to them about the benefits of the cloud. Um, outsourcing, um, uh, you, owning it yourself. Uh, do I hire the IT staff to manage that? Uh, do I look for somebody else to help me manage that? Um, where do I spend my resources? Can I use those resources that used to do one thing and allocate them for something else on the core competencies of the business? Um, turning soft dollars into tangible, hard dollar ROI pieces to it. And what about some of the challenges? What are your partners hearing about some of the challenges of the cloud? Um, clients want clients want uh, everything from, from quality of service and the voice uh, they want security within their information. Um, they want access. Uh, they want unlimited access. Um, some some clients want to be able to control that, so they want to make their own ads, moves, and changes. Um, some partners and some vendors allow some of that, some of the limitations on that as well. Um, they don't know who to go to. There's a proliferation of host providers that seem to be doing all the same thing. So how do I differentiate all of that? A uh, consultant can really bring that bigger picture in and provide a very agnostic recommendation relative to, you know, uh, you know here's who we recommend, but here's, more importantly, here's, here's how I differentiate each of providers. As a, as a consumer, this is what you should be looking for. Here are the key metrics. You know, that should be in your due diligence discussions. And is your cloud offering all partner-based, or are you also selling direct? So when Shortel acquired the company I was actually formerly with, uh, it was both partner and direct. Uh, the direct business really generated from people coming to different trade shows and events, hitting the website, um, reactively moving it to our direct sales. Um, we do about on the cloud side today close to 78, almost 80 percent partner driven. Yeah, uh, continue to see that volume go up. On our premise side, it's 100 percent partner driven. So I see some cultural uh, similarities. I see probably more growth in our partner and consultant base. Um, but, you know, of the partner base, 25 plus percent is done by consultants. So um, we're really trying to double down, look at consultants in a whole different light, uh, participate in UC summits even that much more often and try to gain some more mind share. Okay, well thank you very much. Thank you.